Hello, this is Pastor Sean Archer with you on location here at the First Presbyterian Church in downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, the venue where <clears throat> over 40 years ago, Catherine Kuhlman had her regular services here in this building. And I thought, what an appropriate place to come to and uh, just to be inspired and just to uh, <clears throat> capture really the, the the message of this wonderful woman of God who <clears throat> has passed away but is still her videos and books are still affecting people all around the world and has been for many years <clears throat> as you can see behind me uh, <clears throat> the greatest miracle that I think the world has ever seen to date uh, the scripture uh Reminds me, John 1, 14, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. <clears throat> a beautiful picture of, and I always said Christmas really is a season of miracles because the greatest miracle <clears throat> the world has ever seen to date or has seen was this here, that God became flesh and dwelt among us. That's a, that's the message, that's the hope of this, this season, that's the hope of the message of the gospel. <clears throat> the hope, <clears throat> and when you think about Jesus came at a time when it was the darkest, it was the bleakest. Over 400 years of silence, there was no open prophetic word, there was no prophecies given <clears throat> until Malachi closes with this message of John the Baptist. After that, everything was silent, and it was, it's almost like God had drawn a curtain in time. <clears throat> and if you ever go to any plays or anything like that, there's a, there was called intermission, where the curtains are closed, <clears throat> and there's things being rearranged behind the scenes. <clears throat> well, that's really what God was doing in that 400 years. He was <clears throat> preparing things behind the scenes, getting the, getting the world ready for the greatest visitation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so in this Christmas season, in this season of miracles, I like to call it, Jesus himself is our hope, and he is the light that shines bright in the darkness, like John 1 declares. So be encouraged, be blessed, and uh, just adore Jesus in this Christmas season.